Now, more than 100 transgender men have entered the Miss Italy pageant in protest after that pageant banned anyone not born female from competing. Are you following along here? Now, this does come after the Miss Netherlands contest crowned its first ever male-born winner, trans woman now, with Miss Italy organizers saying they would not, quote, jump on the glittery bandwagon of trans activism. Now, on hearing those comments, Italian trans man Federico Barbarossa sparked a viral online campaign by entering the Italy competition himself under what's called his dead name, which is the female name he's given at birth, Federica. So let's speak to Federico uh, now, joining us live from Italy. Thank you very much for making time for us. Uh, and just talk to us a little bit about why, what motivated you to do this? So, you know, obviously I heard about the, um, you know, what the organizer said about um, that, you know, first that only uh, people assigned female at birth could take part in the contest. Uh, and then obviously I also heard that she made that statement with the purpose of excluding trans women, uh, you know, in a very explicit way. Um, and so in, in that sense, I thought that's so dumb because, you know, I'm assigned female at birth, but they wouldn't, you know, dismiss my application because I'm short. They would mm -hmm. dismiss my application because I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> and so in that sense, I thought I'd start this uh, protest because, you know, um, just to show how dumb this sort of like thinking is, because, um, yeah, like I said, they wouldn't have dismiss me because I'm short they would have dismissed me because I'm a man and so therefore but then you know a trans woman is not a woman so how does that work really you know so you did it um, knowing you you were being that. cheeky you were being playful but you were also trying to make a point here that you you disliked the way that trans issues were being sort of brought up and that restrictions were being put in place in pageants yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's just, um, I think it's just out of date and out of time. This, this contest uh, was born during fascism uh, and then it was kind of rebranded afterwards in 1946. And the, uh, I mean, obviously the rules might have changed a little bit, but obviously um, there was a clear statement made um, this specific time. And, you know, I don't particularly um, agree with the values of pageants etc mm. personally but then i think you know if they mm. do exist in this world then they should be open to all women mm. um if they are meant for women you know 